by people in the community helping us out at Austin Pets Alive, we're able to give more dogs like Kenneth and more cats a chance at a wonderful life. Well, the impacts of the impending weather mm. reaching our furry friends as well. Local animal shelters are asking for your help. KXAN's Chelsea Moreno joins us this afternoon. So Chelsea, what are the local shelters doing to prepare? Well, Brent, while many of us hunger down and get ready to be with our pets at home, we cannot forget about those that are at our local animal shelters. Now today I spent some time with Austin Pets Alive staff and volunteers as they prepare their facilities for this weather. If you're familiar with Austin Pets Alive, you know most of their kennels are connected to an outdoor space, especially for dogs in their care. So they're preparing to bring many of those plastic tarps you see down and then zip those up. Now that's supposed to act as an insulator that'll trap heat for those dogs that are there. And really they're asking for the community to partner with them with this as well. What else are they asking for, Chelsea? Well, Robert, they're asking first and foremost for anyone who's available to be able to foster a pet to do so. That'll help alleviate some of the already impending pressure for getting pets out of the cold and also take in pets as they take in pets from other shelters. And if that's not possible, it's donations that they're asking for. They're needing heating pads that are waterproof, that have temperature control, so a very specific kind, but also that have an automatic shutoff option to help keep those pets warm while not overheating them. You know, Chelsea, I feel like we all learned some lessons from last year's freeze. What did the animal shelter learn? We definitely did, Britt, and Austin Pets Alive did as well, and what stood out to them was the amazing response from the Austin community. They shared with me that getting the word out about needing support as early as possible is key for them, especially this time around as we're getting this cold snap. And of course, this will not exactly be like last year's major weather event, but they learned that timing helps and also they learn how much this Austin community is willing to do to support these animals. So they're really hoping that carries over. And I've actually got some good news to share with you. We got word that they were able to get 40 dogs in foster homes in the past 24 hours. So they're hoping that that continues. That's awesome. Chelsea, thank you so much for that. And Chelsea also checked in with other shelters across the city. So to read how you can help, head over to KXAN.com.